Na mtazamaji karibu kwa taarifa kamili tukuangazia tu baadhi ya taarifa ambazo ndo zimeweza kuchifuka saa chache tu zilizopita pia tungependa zaidi kukuarifu na kinachoendelea katika tume ya IEBC. Moja kwa moja mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo basi wafula Chebukati amewaonya wanasiasa dhidi ya kuhitilafiana na shughuli za tume hiyo kuhusu marudio ya uchaguzi. Chebukati amesema kuwa anapanga mazungumzo baina ya pande zinazozozana kisiasa ili kuafikiana kuhusu uchaguzi. Chebukati ametaja kukumbwa na changamoto kama vile migawanyiko baina ya makamishna katika tume hiyo na vile vile kutosikizana kwa wanasiasa. Chebukati ambaye pia alizungumza kujiuzulu kwa kamishna Rosalina Kombe amemtaja kama aliye na bidii na anasikitishwa sana kwamba hataweza kuwa na yeye katika tume hiyo. To the players of this game on all sides that they should stop all attempts to interfere with the process. The failure to do this will result in consequences as I've made up my mind to uphold the constitution and the will of the people of Kenya regardless of threats, intimidation and pressure. No one side is absolved from this and that's why my warning goes to all parties involved. Let my commission and I do our job and we shall deliver interfere as we have been doing and we shall get stuck as a country. Anyone who truly loves this country will not want it to be destroyed by the ambitions of a few people. I love this country, which is why I've chosen to address you today. I'll not allow anyone to destroy this country as long as I'm the referee of this contest. Let me close by reminding all of us that peace is the end result of all things being done in an open and transparent manner. It's the result of the winner and the losers understanding why they won and why they lost without their confidence in the process wavering at all. This is what we get when losers have faith in the transparency and fairness of the process and get inspired to work harder next time. This is what we get when the supporters of the losers are satisfied that the process was fair and transparent. This is what we get when the winner did not have to help the process. This is what we get when we embrace true democracy, where a nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody. If Kenya burns, it will be because we have not addressed these issues. And because we have created an Orwellian society where some are more equal than others. Never forget the fact that the people for whom it burns all have the resources to relocate their families abroad in a minute. The people who will suffer are the innocent people of Kenya whose lives would have been permanently altered because of the inability of the people they look up to as leaders who have refused to dialogue. When we do things right, we'll get the right things. I know that there are elements who would love nothing more than to hear me announce my resignation at this point. In reality, that will be the easiest thing to do, but we all have to put our country first, and that's why I'm determined to make this country work. Ironically, the very people, the political leaders that are supposed to build a nation have become the greatest threat to the peace and stability of the nation. And so today, let me be very clear that I'm giving a yellow card to all the political leaders in this country. I'll not tolerate the threats on my staff anymore. I'll not tolerate the interference in the commission anymore. Kenyans are paying a lot of money for this election. And as their custodian, I will not let the money of the Kenyan people or the development partners go to waste anymore. Fellow Kenyans, this is a true state of the commission today. I thank you very much. God bless Kenya. God bless all of us. Thank you. Mazamaji hiyo ilikuwa hotuba ya mwenyekiti wa tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC wa Fula Chebukati saa chache tu zilizopita ambako walikuwa wanazungumzia jinsi hali ilivyo katika tume hiyo amezungumzia swala la migawanyiko ndani ya tume hiyo na vile vile jitihada ambazo zinazoendelezwa na baadhi ya wanasiasa katika taifa letu la Kenya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna kuwa na changamoto kama hizo katika tume hiyo lakini kwa upande mwingine pia vile vile kando na kusema kwamba yuko tayari kujiuzulu kwanza kabisa anasema kwamba anatoa fursa kwa wanasiasa hawa wakuu waje wakae chini na weke maslahi ya taifa mbele katika kukamua ule mkwamo ambao amesema kweli kuna mkwamo 
katika tume ile ya IEBC katika kuafikia ama kuweza kupeana uchaguzi ambao utakuwa huru na wa haki bila shaka ni matamshi ambayo yaliweza kutolewa mapema hii leo na kamishna wa tume ya IEBC daktari Roslina Akombe ambaye aliweza kujiuzulu kwa misingi kuwa hawezi kushiriki maandalizi ya uchaguzi bila mabadiliko katika tume hiyo katika mahojiano ya simu mapema hii leo kwenye KTN News Akombe ameeleza jinsi anahofia usalama wake na wafanyikazi wenzake katika IEBC katika maeneo mbalimbali humu nchini kabla na wakati wa marudio ya uchaguzi wa urais wiki ijayo. Mwanahabari Mashiri Makapombe anaarifu zaidi. Barua hii ya daktari Roslina Kombe imewaamsha wakenya kwa mshangao wa mzi wake wa kujiuzulu ukielezwa kwa kina. Kwenye barua hiyo Akombe ameeleza jinsi imekuwa vigumu kwake kuendelea kuhudhuria mikutano na makamishna wengine ambao hufanya maamuzi kwa kuegemea upande wanaotaka na sio kujadili masuala muhimu aidha usalama wa wafanyikazi wa IEBC katika marudio ya kura za urais wiki ijayo katika kaunti za Nairobi, Kisumu, Homa Bay na Siaya haukutiliwa maanani. Nikinukuu imenivunja moyo kuwasikiza wafanyikazi wa IEBC wakieleza wasiwasi wao kuhusu usalama wa Anaendelea kwa kusema niliwaeleza wenzangu kauli za wafanyikazi kwa imani kuwa itabadili fikra katika jinsi tunavyofanya maamuzi lakini baadhi ya makamishna walishikilia msimamo wao wa kuwepo kwa uchaguzi bila kujali maisha ya wafanyikazi na wapiga kura ni juzi tu ambapo akombe alitoa hakikisho ya kuwasilisha maoni ya wafanyikazi kwa makamishna wenzake na kuwapa moyo kuwa watashughulikiwa I have heard the concerns that they have raised. I will take back those concerns, the security concerns, to the Commission, so that as a Commission we can look and see which is the best way of ensuring that uh, we protect uh, the integrity of the election, but also our staff. Huku akiitaka tumenzima kuwa na ujasiri na kuweka peupe matatizo ya na yuizonga IEBC, akombe ya mesema, uchaguzi wa urais jinsi ulivyo pangwa hawezi kufikia viwango vya wazi vina vitaragiwa. Aidha katika mahojiano kupitia njia ya simu akiwa Marekani akombe ameelezea kupuuzwa kwa usalama wake na wajamaa zake na idara ya usalama. Mission had got into a point whereby I felt that I had no more contribution to make because I only had one vote. And the more we continue voting on issues that are fundamental, the more I realize that as long as Chairman Chibukati continues to have only two votes we cannot make progress in the commission we cannot guarantee a credible process come the 26th of october kabla ya kujiunga na IEBC daktari Roslyn Akombe alifanya kazi kama afisa mkuu katika umoja wa mataifa huko New York Marekani ana shahada na astashahada ya sayansi na masuala ya ulimwengu kutoka chuo kikuu cha Rutgers pia ana shahada ya elimu kutoka chuo kikuu cha Nairobi alipokuwa akihojiwa na jopo lililoongozwa na Benedict Musundi Akombe alisema anajivunia udiplomasia ambao utamwezesha kusuluhisha mizozo Aidha alipoulizwa na kamati ya bunge kuhusu mshahara wa IEBC kuwa mdogo zaidi ya alivyopata katika umoja wa mataifa akombe alisisitiza kuwa lake ni kuhakikisha kuwa analitumikia taifa It's making sure that the election monitoring management body uh, for instance the IEBC now carries out a credible process in which people have faith in Akombe mwenye umri wa miaka 41 amesisitiza kuwa hata husika na mchakato wa uchaguzi ambao hadhi yake inatiliwa shaka. Hatua yake ya kujiuzulu imeiweka IEBC kwenye darubini ya wadau wote wanaoupa uchaguzi wa Kenya umuhimu na ustahili. Hukosekana kwa mabadiliko yaliyodokezwa na umoja wa Ulaya EU kabla ya marudio ya uchaguzi huo kunaonekana kuwa donda sugu ambalo mwenyekiti wa Fula Chibukati atahitajika kufumbua macho kuwajibika kwa mujibu wa uamuzi wa mahakama ya juu. Mashirima Kapombe KTN News. Asante sana Mashirima Kapombe kwa taarifa hiyo ya kina kusiana na kujiuzulu kwa Daktari Roslina Akombe ambaye alikuwa ni kamishna katika tume ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IEBC. Mtazamaji maoni mseto yanaendelea kutolewa kufuatia kujiuzulu kwa kamishna wa IEBC Roslina Kombe. Kuna baadhi ya wakenya wanaohisi kwamba amefanya jambo la busara ilhali wengine wamekashi fatua hiyo ya kujiondoa siku chache tu kabla ya marudio ya uchaguzi wa tarehe 26 haya hapa baadhi ya maoni ya wakenya kutoka maeneo mbalimbali ya nchi huyu kombe kujihusuru amefanya vizuri sababu eh 
hakuwa nataka damu imu wake kwa mkono yake sababu yeye ni mtu wa Mungu ameameokoka ndio maana amechuzu na huyu msiana amenyamenda ngambo na tunaomba aendelee kutoa mambo ingine yenye yenye inaongelewa huko ndani yenye hatujajua sisi wa Kenya hata jebukati afadhali aseme sasa hii election yairishwe wachipange vizuri ni kama kuna shida huko ndani na kitu kabla sijasahau ambaye ningesema kama mzaliwa wa Kisi Hii maneno ya matiangi ndio imeniudhi sana. Hii maneno ya kuua watu kama kuku sio vizuri. At least waacha sheria ifanye kazi lakini waache tuandamane kama ni kuandamana kwa street tukae kwa sababu kuandamana ni kwa barabara sio kwa shamba. Msomamo wake inaonyesha wa Kenya wajue kwamba kuna tofauti Kenya. Wengine wameficha mambo ya kura ama ameona vile wamepanga jinsi ya kuiba kura amefanya mzuri ili hiyo wish isije ikaesabiwa kwa kweli wa Kenya sisi tuna imani kwamba atutakuwa na election come 26 October tungeomba hao makomishona wengine kuanzia chebukati mpaka hao wengine wote wajiuzulu hii ni kuonyesha kwamba kumekuwa na shida IBC tunaitisha viongozi wetu kama wangetusikiza vizuri waangalie vile Kenya sasa hizi zinavyofanana Kenya haiendelei vizuri hata ukiangalia uchumi kitu ya maana yenye tunalilia saa hizi ni uchumi uchumi umezoroteka alikuwa kwa upande wa upizani sababu kazi haiwezi kushinda wakati tumebakisha uchaguzi wiki moja kujuzuru kwake inaweza kuwa na haja na hoja tofauti ambazo sisi hatuzijui inaweza kuwa ni sababu ya kuegemea upande fulani aidha anaona maybe hataweza kulingana na ile mikakati alikuwa ameagana na pade yenye alikuwa na tatu maybe kufefa maybe hataweza Shebukati najua anajua kasi yake na bila alichaguliwa hakuchaguliwa na mtu mmoja anajua kasi yake na atatafuta mtu wa kumreplace ndio uchaguzi wa dalae kama vile ulivyopanga Na mtazamaji bila shaka kufuatia taarifa hiyo ya kujiuzulu baadhi ya viongozi kutoka mrengo wa jubili nao wametoa kauli yao kuhusu kujiuzulu kwa akombe mwanahabari Elvis Kosgea alipata fursa na kuzungumza na baadhi yao mjini Eldoret katika kaunti ya Wasingisho Nam huku wa Kenya wakiendelea kusubiri uchaguzi wa tarehe 26 Mwezi huu Oktoba baadhi ya mambo ambayo yameweza kujiri na kuweza kugonga vichwa vya habari imeweza kuibua hisia tofauti hasa swala ambalo linahusiana na Rosalie na Kombe ambaye alijiuzulu mapema siku ya leo na kwa bahati nzuri nimeweza kujumuika ama kutangamana na viongozi hasa kutoka a uh, maeneo mbalimbali mbali, ikiwemo kaunti ya Nyeri ambaye kwa sasa ninajiunga na gavana wa kaunti ya Nyeri ambaye ni daktari wa Homega Kuru labda tupatie maoni yake hasa kuhusiana na joto la kisiasa ambalo tumeendelea kushuhudia siku za kila leo well um, tuko hapa Rift Valley uh, Western uh, Province utafuta kura zote ambazo hazikutokea tarehe 28 mwezi wa 8 ndio tupate ushidi kama wana jubili. na wakati tumekuwa hapa changamoto kila ina kila siku uh, maneno inatokea uh, tukielekea tarehe 26 mwezi huu mwezi wa 10 sisi hatuna uh, tashwishi hata kidogo kwamba tarehe 26 tutaibuka washindi uh, na all we would like to say really, honestly is that um, uh, tuko na serikali tuko na kiongozi wetu president uhuru tuko na deputy william ruto tuko na cabinet tuko na institutions ya serikali inafanya kazi kwa hivyo everything iko sawa and everything is under control ningeomba hawa wasilete maneno ya, ya maneno yao katika nchi sababu wajue nchi ni kubwa kuliko hawa Na wajue sasa wanatusumbua na wanafanyia wananchi madhara sababu vile wanataka ni pengine ni, e, ni uchaguzi uhairishwe. Na kusema ukweli uchaguzi ukairishwa tena usifanyike tarehe 26 itakuwa ni shida, kiuchumi, kibiashara na mambo mengi ambayo atakuwa mea kiserekali. Naomba ni serikali ambayo iko sahi ijue hata mtu mmoja akienda wawili au watatu wenye wanaweza kubaki upande wa IBC eh, atafanya kazi vile inatakikana na lazima iendelee tarehe 26 kutufanya uchaguzi tarehe 26 Mwisho kabisa acha nisikie kutoka kwa mbunge wa zamani wa Kinangop aweze kutuambia ama hisia zake tukusiana hasa na joto la uchaguzi ambalo tunashuhudia kila siku Kweli wa mambo vile mambo ambavyo yanavyoendelea ni kweli kamili. Unaona kama bunge ilikuwa inataka kufanya amendment kwa hizi sheria za 
za uchaguzi. Sasa umeona maana ya hiyo amendment ilikuwa na, na sababu kwa ajili intelligent yetu inafanya kazi. Tulikuwa tunajua kama kombe ako, upande wa NASA na ndio walikuwa natoa yale maneno ambao walikuwa na makomishi na wanaongea anapeleka upande ule mwingine. Na unakumbuka kulikuwa na kisaza wakati ule mwingine alikuwa anasema kana ati anaenda kuangalia kazi ya printing kule Dubai. Alikuwa tu ni njia moja ya kutaka kuponyoka kwa ajili anajua uh, ni moja ambao amekuwa cause confusion katika hiyo uh, IBC hata ile memo ambayo ilikuwa inasemekana ati Chebukati ameandikia Chiroba ilikuwa ni yeye amedraft ilikuwa ni yeye amedraftia chairman Ikarik amedraftia chairman ndio chairman apatie Chiroba ndio unaona haikufanya kazi na unaona sasa hayo hiyo amendments ilikuwa inafaa na unaona kama sasa hii ni mambo ambayo haikuwa imetarajiwa tuna eh, tuna ti amli ya, maka, eh, ya koti ya upeo supreme court ni order sio kitu ambao tulikuwa tunataka ati turudi kwa uchaguzi kama mtu anapenda nchi yake kutoroka sio ile kitu ambayo unasaidia nchi yako uh, mi, wa, wa Kenya milioni uh, 45 wanategemea ile kazi itafanywa na IBC na kujiondoa katika hiyo maandalizi kweli kwangu mimi naona kama akombe ako na nia mbaya alikuwa anapanga kuangusha nchi yetu ya Kenya na kuna watu ambao alikuwa anapanga nao lakini sisi ile kitu tungeomba mimi nikiwa mtu wa chama ya jubilee ile kitu ningeomba wale commissioners wamebaki waendelee kujipanga sababu tunajua hata commissioner mmoja ama wawili wakijiondoa katika hiyo hiyo commission sio ati commissioner imekufa commission inafaa kuendelea kujipanga tufanye uchaguzi tarehe sita ndio Kenya nchi yetu iendelee tunafaa kuwa tunakijua uh, inchi ndio kubwa kuliko binadamu mmoja na ile kitu tunafuta kufanya saidi tufanye uchaguzi maisha ya Kenya iendelee ya Rosalina Kombe kuweza kujiuzulu mapema siku ya leo wanasema kwamba watatiaguna kuhakikisha kwamba wakenya tena wanarejea uchaguzini ifikapo tarehe 26 na narudisha kwenye studio na masante sana Elvis Koske huyo mwanahabari mwenzangu ambaye ameshika sehemu ya ukanda ule wa magharibi na kidogo magharibi lakini zaidi anakuwa katika upande wa Rift Valley na kuipenda bonde la Ufa kule kaunti ya Wasingishu na kaunti jirani zinazozunguka sehemu hiyo asante sana kwa taarifa hiyo kutoka kwa wana jubilee maoni yao hayo tumeweza kuyapaza vyema kabisa mtazamaji tumekuandalia taarifa zaidi ambazo tutakuletea kwenye muda usio kuwa mrefu lakini kama ada wacha twende kwenye mapumziko alafu nikirudi basi 